Hey, what is up folks? Welcome back to another episode of Fish Meat for Dinner. Today we're on a lake that I've fished a few times. It's uh, in Wapaka, Wisconsin. It's called the Chain of Lakes. So we're here. Um, really cool little thing is I used to come up here as a kid all the time. They have a camp here through uh, the Boys and Girls Brigade called Camp Onaway. And uh, I did that in my childhood. So got some killing on a bass here just from shore off the island. But today we're here in our boat. And uh, we're going to see what we can make happen. The water temperature is around 48 degrees of water, so we'll see what happens. Those fish are probably going to be either uh, posted up pretty deep or they're going to be in the shallows by my guesses. Um, we do have a lot of bait just here by the launch, so, so that's a good sign. And uh, we'll see what happens here. I'm just going to start right from the launch and just start working my way along the shoreline see what I can see. So. Uh, there is really good water visibility here. Um, I'm in about three feet of water and I can see the bottom crystal clear. So we're going to see what we can do here. This will be a little different than usual. I'm a pretty stained water guy. So we'll see what happens. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Bit the tube, chunker. Let's go. About time. I was getting discouraged, man. Came over here by the King's Veteran Home. There's a bunch of nice rock formations. Got her done with the tube. Put him in the well quick. You got a nice belly on him. It's getting a little discouraged here. Um, been seeing so many fish and uh, finally made a little switch up here just tossing the tube around and uh, we got it done we got our first fish of the day uh, show you what tube I'm using here um, it's the big big bite baits or get bit baits I think they're called um, I should know because our team is sponsored by them but uh I don't know if this is a green pumpkin sparkle or something. I have to look on the package, but and then I got a three eighth ounce um, tube jig in there, so I got her done. Just bouncing off those rocks, and uh, he picked it up. So sweet! I'm excited. Could be some more over there too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to catch another one. Water temperature over here is 49. It's a little bit warmer, but really. Still not that warm. I think the big thing here is I'm kind of just sitting back and uh, not trying to chase them. And just kind of tossing it a long ways out there and letting them decide if they want to eat it or not. Instead of trying to dangle something in its face and have it get spooked and whatnot. Probably work this tube here another like five minutes and then see what else we can get into. At least now I know that they want the tube, you know. So I tossed <clears throat> earlier, I tossed a rip and wrap, a chatterbait, a white one, and then 
uh, swim jig for a little bit, not a whole lot. And then uh, I was tossing a, um, a crankbait that dove about six feet down. And I was trying that to, uh, I had it with a color that matched what I, the bait fish that I was seeing at the boat launch. And it, I don't know, I just didn't want it. So they're not real shallow. They're like on this lake. There's real deep drop-offs, and uh, I'm seeing them kind of come up and cruise a little bit or shoot back down. So they're definitely working the transition right now. But I'm happy to have one in the boat. That's for sure. Pitched it off the dock there and bit it right next to the hoist. Little dude, but hey. Well, they wanted to get nice and warm and come up, maybe feed a little bit. Ooh. Fish on. Fish on, baby! It's a fish. Woo! <sighs> Little guy. Barely nipped it. Pretty good hook set for him. Got a little bump on his head. <laughs> nice little dude, probably what, like a 13. Something in here. Check if it's 14, just for the hell of it. Yeah, 13 incher. Little dude, caught him on that transition, like I said. So things are looking up. The water temperature is rising a little bit. So hopefully she'll get even better. So like I said sticking to that tube because it's been working good for me and uh you can I, actually I'll see if i can turn the camera so you guys can see you see how like right about there that's probably like two feet of water and then it drifts down into about 10 foot of water and i'm just casting near that two feet of water mark not like right at it because i don't want it to kind of get stuck on it or just kind of dumb to fish two feet of water anyways when the fish aren't in there but anyways casting up in the shallow water slowly bouncing it back to me and uh buddy clobbered it so let's catch another fish dude it's looking up Alright folks, I think I'm going to call it a day. I saw a lot of fish. So many. I probably saw at least like a hundred fish. Like ridiculous. Just bass. So, I think we caught like four or five ones. I think we caught like four or five bass. Um, not too shabby for how cold the water is so far. And it's only April 16th. So... Um, great visibility like I said saw a lot of fish but uh, 
definitely was quite the grind so uh, I had fun though um, got to try out some new stuff and uh, yeah headed to Texas now and uh, hopefully we'll cr uh, crush some nice largies on uh, Sam Rayburn down there and maybe do some other cool stuff so stay tuned see you guys in the next episode of fish meat for dinner thanks for watching